Atari. One is a special one, Millipede. This is a cocktail. Only made 1,300 cocktails, Frank. Well, very few of these were made. This one actually came up very nice. We took the black tea molding off and put that light green on. Should I unplug that fan? Oh, God, that fan again. Notice there's no boys here. Now. I've sent most of them home. Can you send me home? No, you have to finish that Simpsons. That guy's screaming. Uh, I'm Look, done with it. I have some neat things here. First of all, um, we take care of McDonald's um, uh, restaurants, maintains the Ronald McDonald houses in Philadelphia, and we've had games there for years that we donated there. But they came up, uh, they told us uh, somebody was going there, gave them $500 to buy another arcade game, and they wanted a cocktail, and I suggested Millipede. I said this would be a perfect choice. Nice compact game, and this is in pretty good shape. We rebuilt the track balls and all the electronics, of course. The original top glass is tempered and still in pretty good shape with good artwork. But I've decided to make a Todd's Tips. There you go. There you go. And show you something about the Electra Home 13 inch monitors you never knew before. And Frank, who's working the camera, discovered this. Now, what happened is, first of all, Atari made this very easy access. You take these four screws out, and the Electra Home television set <laughs> lifts right out. Now, you already know we put all new capacitors on these. We also do some of the mods. As a matter of fact, one of them, I think you can see, it's so tight. If you look in there, you can see that white resistor. We put that new resistor in there too, in the vertical section. There we go. See that white one? That one, that, that looks like a big giant chiclet. We change that, and we change all the capacitors. Now, here's what's unique. When you change the flyback, they only make a flyback for a 19-inch monitor. When you put a 19-inch flyback into a 13-inch Electra home, the picture is smaller. It's just smaller. It's just the way it is. So if you want to fill the screen, Frank discovered all you have to do is add a couple of those blue chiclets that are not in the 13-inch. They control the size of the picture. And when Frank put some of those extra babies in, the picture widened out just right. Now that's in one direction. The other, the other thing you have to do is you have to take out the, uh, the, sto the, the stalk or the centerpiece of the height core. Uh, Pipe coil. You have to take that completely out, and then your picture will be nice and high again. It's backwards. What? Backwards? Hey, that would be fun, wouldn't it? Not for, <laughs> not for the people playing. Yeah. Anyway. God, don't break that neck off. Anymore. Oh God, that would be a disaster. And everybody on watching would laugh. This also has a very nice access panel. When you pull this out, the side panel opens up so you can get to the bottom where the transformer is, which I'm not going to do. But our power supply here has been rebuilt with new capacitors, courtesy of the good old Bob Roberts. We put LEDs in the coin slots, even though they're disabled. Uh, actually, we'll, you know what, we'll have to put two screws in there so nobody tries to put um, quarters in. We'd like to leave the coin stuff in, but what we'll do is we'll stick a screw in the center of each coin slot so Nobody. It's a shame they're beautiful coin buttons too. Yeah, we should take, we should take them all out. Some crappy ones. Some crappy Frank. ones. Those are nice. Frank. Ah. Anyway, we took out our logic board. Frank took this out earlier and cleaned all the chips, and squirted a little jism in them, and then put them back in. So the chips are all making nice, uh, you know, contact again. I mean, we figured we really should do it because it's only 32 years old. Maybe it could go another few years without bothering. No, the mother of father. Just kidding. 32 years ago. Isn't this amazing? All those years ago. And it's still going strong. Good 
wonderful American ingenuity. That clown better hook us up with some cheeseburgers, too. Yeah, he better that clown. <laughs> you know what I could use as a Whopper? You need some salads. <laughs> Whopper's the wrong place, Bozo. Bozo? You got the wrong clown. <laughs> uh, anyway, Millipede. Going to the Ronald McDonald House. God, we have donated. I guess three or four hundred games over the years. Uh, but uh, in this case, a nice cheap price, five hundred dollars. And we still did everything to it. We still did everything to it. But look what else is coming. The Galaxian. We're getting that ready. And a Simpsons, where Stephen cut the side art out. And that lazy lump leave again. That Crystal Castles is coming out. And a special, you're gonna, we're going to do this video later tonight, a special edition of Gottlieb's Bone Busters. Wait until you see this. This is a very special edition. Also, police trainers come. So, uh, police force, you mean? Oh. Police trainer, police force. Does it make any difference at all? The games all run together. It does in the price. Tell you what, Frank, I'm going to let you plug the fans back in. But you're going to plug them in. I'm going home. See you tomorrow. Huh, uh, uh, no. You can't put the camera down. Wait a minute, Frank. Uh, but, 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 Good night. <laughs> Ha, 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 ha.